What's up, y'all? It's Kiani, and today I have a couple of things I want to talk about. They've been on my mind, and I just can't seem to really bring myself to go live and talk about these things. Plus, my other account, reminiscing on o OTB, they done blocked me from going live on there. I ain't even do nothing. Anyways, we're going to touch on a few topics. Um, without any further ado, let's get right into it. First thing I'm going to talk about, I've said this many times. Whatever happens in China will happen in America. I don't think you guys realize China is literally America's father. We are China's son. I don't want to say we. I don't want to claim none of that. But listen, I'm going to tell you all something I know that's going to happen. Are y'all aware of the fact that they are eating each other in China? They are eating each other because there's no food. That's finna happen out here. And the fucked up part about it, they have it like blocked. So y'all probably already like learned this like Saluminati, he talked about this back in 2020. They have it blocked to the point where you have to actually do so much just to see what's going on in China. You have to do so much just to figure out the news out there because they ain't saying stuff. Um, also, there are certain countries that is they are not allowed to communicate with us. And why? They are lying in the news about things happening around the world that aren't even happening. Like, at all. They are cutting the communication between us and these certain countries, these certain places. Before I continue, do y'all hear it? They really just started messing with my audio. Come on now. Please, just bear with me, bear with me. Take the information as you will. The uh, audio quality is going to change after a certain amount of time. Also, if you can't wait for that, then that's just kind of sad. And they're making up stories in the news saying, this is happening here, this is happening here. And I'm not saying all of them are lies. I really don't watch the news, but I know that they are making it, they're, they're cutting off communication so we cannot talk to these people. Because if we were able to talk to these people, We'll be like, what's up? Y'all good over there? They could be like, what you talking about? We straight. You good? An example of this happening, they actually was blocking communication off so we couldn't communicate with, I don't remember what it was, but there was like a bunch of bombings and terrorist attacks. So we have, like, we had no communi way of communicating to these people, right? They were not allowed to talk to us. It was blocked off. Like, you need a VPN to get past that shit type shit. And I don't even know if a VPN will work. You know, I'm not out there. But anyways, um, they was talking about how there was so much bombings and terrorist attacks going on in a certain area. Turns out, nothing was going on at all. And it was broadcasting this to the, to the world. Talking about some, I believe they were talking about, is this, is this the start of World War III? Feeding your fear. Feeding your fear. Fear mongering. That's what they love doing. Feed off you like a battery. Um... Some people who lived in the area that they said that was going, that was getting bombed, i not sure how the videos um, surfaced, but something, some videos surfaced and there was like screenshots of stuff. They was talking about some, there was nothing going on out here. There's nothing going on. They started, they were showing, they were showing us that there was nothing going on out there. No bombings, no terrorist attacks. It was fine, peaceful. And y'all still watch the news. Y'all still watch the news. How is it that they can report on all these all these terrorist attacks, bombings, this, that, and third. But they can't broadcast on the 800k to 1 million children that go missing a year. That shit just astonishes me. I find it funny how when I talk about certain topics, they want to mess my audio up. Like, come on now. I'm going to say it again. Stop watching the news. It lowers your vibration. It, they, this is a tool that they use to feed off of you. I said into my song, they don't give a fuck the highest up call you a battery. Detrimental beings trying to break us down with battery. Bro. They, I'm gonna use the same example I used last time. I don't know if y'all heard my last podcast. But for example, how when the uh, Black Lives Matter movements was happening, there was a lot of peaceful protests, right? But what did they do? They decided to show the world the riots. The, the BS, the chaos. They, they they decided to broadcast how how many how many um of our brothers and our sisters were getting killed. How many how many gods and goddesses were getting killed during these processes. And it's like they know it's going to 
rile something up inside of us. It's going to make us angry. We see, um, fills us with fear, anger, sadness, low vibrational emotions. We got, we got our mothers, we got our black mothers. They, they scared to let their sons go anywhere, go out the house. They, they are fearful of the law enforcement. The same law enforcement that they say is supposed to be protecting us. But if y'all don't know, the only reason law enforcement is a thing, it's only a thing because they were trying to keep us in check. This, the, the law enforcement was to keep us in check. The gods and the goddesses to keep them, I don't want to say in check, but to keep us um, oppressed. To keep us oppressed. Now we got we got black mothers. They don't want to let their sons go nowhere because they they fearful of them, fearful of them getting killed by police officers. The same people sworn to in in quotes protect us. That's sad. Then we got our black mothers that are losing their children. They're losing their babies to a police, to street to street violence, to stuff like this. They, they sad, grief, anger, because now that mother feels like she could have done better. Now the mother's sad because she just lost her baby. She raised him for so long just to lose him. And now this, this black mother is filled with fear because she has other sons. Now these sons are under constraints. Like they, they're under lockdown. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Y'all doing this. You don't want, you don't want what happened to your brother to happen to you. Sad. Anger. Anger because there's no justice for her baby. No justice. You hear me? They show us these things to lower our vibrations. They feed our community. These emotions like, let's see. They show us all these people getting killed. Now we're enraged. Now we're infuriated because there's no justice. It's unrighteousness. No justice for us. But that stops. Soon. <laughs> and I just wanted to touch on this because I know I make people mad with the, with me speaking my truth. And I frankly don't give a damn. But listen. Them, rest in peace to their dear souls. These, these babies, these people have actually transcended. Rest in peace to their dear souls. But their deaths being broadcasted, like, for example, they just killed a black baby. And that was literally, that was literally the title. That was the, the caption. And it caught so many people's attention. People are mad. People are sad. Like, what the, what are y'all doing? Killing black babies. It's a baby. And y'all don't get mad at me for saying this. So be it. It's all a distraction. It's all a distraction. Yes, lives were lost. Yes, real lives were lost. But it was to infuriate you. They do the most. And these deaths are sacrifices. The, the school shootings. And I already know. I already know the backlash I'm going to get. So be it. Get enough as it is. Distractions. To make you angry. To keep you with a low vibration. Because they feel. They feel the pl They see it. They feel it. The vibrations are rising. And they're like, oh, oh no. Oh no. They're waking up. They're, they're, they're becoming more aware of what's going on. We have to keep them low. We gotta keep killing. Keep, we gotta keep doing all these terrible things to keep us at such a low state. Do y'all get that? Not only are these distractions, these are sacrifices. Rest in peace to those dear souls. No disrespect on their names. No disrespect on their graves. They will come back. <laughs> they will come back. For vengeance. For listen. I know you see all this stuff, it's lowering your vibration. Disconnect. Get away from your devices. Get the hell away. All this is going to do is bring you down. Now, not interacting with these things is one thing. Because I see a lot of people reposting, but what the hell are you doing though? You're reposting it. What are you, what are you doing? You're feeding. You're feeding into their agenda. Because what they want is this, this, these stories to get around as much as they can to provoke as many people as they can. You can't do shit about what happened. And that's it. I'm gonna I'm say it just like that. You cannot do shit. You're not in the position. All you're doing is posting the story on Instagram. Rest in peace to those dear souls. Like I said, 
They control us with the technology. They control us with the media. Y'all hear it all the time, but y'all not paying attention. Y'all hearing it, but y'all not listening. Like, come on, man. Hi, yeah, yeah. One of the only ways for you to really get the hell away from this shit is to get the hell away from this shit. Social media fast. If, you want, if you're an influencer, of course, you're going to be on social media. You, you need to be on social media to reach out to your peoples. Take occasional frequent breaks from social media. I have my notifications on Instagram turned up. People be thinking I'm ignoring them. That's not the case. I'm just chilling in my own energy. Simple as that. Reconnecting with myself. I'm seeing past all the bullshit that they put on our screens, that they place in front of us. I see through the illusions, I see through the lies, I see through their facades. Like I said before in my other podcast, they take 10% truth and cover it up with 90% lies. Y'all need to disconnect and reconnect back with nature. There's a lot about to start happening and you need to get on your shit. Now, I've told y'all since 2019, get on your shit, bro. All distractions in front of your face. Start listening to binaural beats. Start grounding, putting your feet, taking your shoes and your socks off. Because the shoes that you wear, the rubber, it it blocks off the Earth's electromagnetic field. You don't get the you don't get that connection. Cause what does rubber do? What does rubber do? It stops that. It stops electricity. It blocks electricity. Take your shoes and your socks off and put your feet in the earth. Put your feet in the grass. Put your feet in the soil. Don't be afraid to get a little dirty. <laughs> Sit in the sun. Get your sun in. Baths. Cleanse your body. Because uh, as the sun gets hotter, as the sun gets hotter, it's going to be harder for you to survive in it. Because your body is full of all this mucus, your body's full of all these parasites, your body's full of all these toxins. Because you haven't fasted, you haven't cleared these things out of your body. It's, oh my gosh, I, I'm in Arizona. It, it, it's, it's been getting like 101 to 115 degrees out here. People is like, oh, it's too hot. Oh, oh no, it's too hot. I'm chilling. I'm a lighter complexion than most of these people saying that it's too hot. These, these the same people that say that was saying it was too hot when it was 80 degrees out here. It was it was winter out here. Oh, it's too hot. They they were really sweating in front of me. I'm like, oh my gosh, wow. Anyways, moral of the story. Um, mainly disconnect, reconnect with yourself, heal your inner child, love your inner child, give your inner child some attention, give your shadow side attention, work on your shadow side. Um, work on do your shadow work. Uh, meditate. When's the last time your ass meditated, huh? Yeah, I'm on your case. You gonna do it after this? You gonna do it after this podcast? I hope so. Uh, when's the last time you had some water? You need a lot of water. I just found it. I didn't even notice. I thought it was eight cups of water. No, males need. Well, of course we need water, but males need about 15, more than 15 cups of water a day. Females need like 11, 11, 13 cups a day. They, I've lived my life thinking that you only need, like, not only, of course you can drink more, but that the average, like, it's eight cups of water for everybody. Like, I'm just finding this out. I'm 16. I mean, I'm pretty young. <laughs> but, nah. Disconnect. Reconnect. Balance yourself. Love yourself. Speak kind words to yourself. When you wake up in the rising, write down. It could be 10, 5, 10, 15, 20. I personally do 20. Write down what you're grateful for. If you don't want to write it down, just say what you're grateful for. Be grateful that, that you even woke up in the rising. You, you heard? Uh. That's really all I have for y'all today because I'm on a time limit. I only have 15 minutes to get the information out that I want to get to y'all. Uh, please take care of yourselves. Disconnect from your devices. Reconnect back with nature. Love yourself more. Get that meditation in. Drink enough water. Uh, start journaling. Tap in with your magic. Tap in with the elements. Mm, anything else I want to say to y'all? Not really, but... 
stay dangerous. Much love.